So this is an alternate way to view custom Python metrics uh, that you send to application insights. Remember, what I want to be able to, what we want to be able to do is generate metrics dashboards to see what's happening in our applications, and in this case, Python, and that happens using the applic uh, application insights exporter. And so you can just do regular Python, open census, hook up the exporter, and your data will automatically get sent to application insights under your API key. Now, uh, it turns out when these uh, metrics are sent, now at previous talk, I did a graph thing where I showed like the pretty picture with all the dots. In this case, I might wanna do slicing and dicing against the data. Um, and so what's available to us? The value of the metric, is it a gauge or a counter? And then standard uh, utilities, standard pop properties are populated um, by the exporter. And that means those are available to be queried against and that's these. In my case, I also added two additional properties as custom dimensions. My application is a pinger. It tries to figure out what my uh, network throughput looks like or whether I'm getting what I paid for from the ISP. And so I actually log as a custom dimension what ISP it is and what server host we ran the test against. Um, and those aren't standard because they're custom to my application. Um, the only other thing is the metrics that we're generating is actually... Um, so these are going to be log-based metrics because everything that goes into Application Insight from the uh, from the Open Census Library is a log-based metric. And the metrics that names that I have here, these will be the names of the metrics that we're going to send. Okay. So this is actually pretty straightforward. I have this app that runs all the time, and it basically goes and pings these sites. It'll generate the metrics for us. So let's see what it looks like. Um, in the past, I showed the dashboard, right? Um, so if we were to come down here and look at the dashboard, you know what, let's not do that. We'll do it. In, there's another talk. Okay. So we go to application insights. We go to our resource. We go to the logs because everything we have here is a log. We go to the logs. I'm going to manually build this query and I'm going to make this a little smaller. Okay. So what did I say? I said that we want to see custom metrics. Right, so it gives you command completion. It's not doing custom events, these are custom metrics. Um, and these are meters that we hooked up. Uh, you know what, let's just click on that. All right, I don't wanna run any where clause here right now, I just wanna show you what this looks like, so let's run it. You can see here that we have the different metric types. We have the ping, we have how long it took us to get the server, if we come down in here, we'll find upload and download times. I don't see them, but there's other metrics that we generate. So these are basically all the metrics. We can sort them by time. We could support them, support us, uh, sort them by date. We can also add filter criteria so we can uh, filter down what we're looking at. Now in this case, and now one of the columns here is actually the custom dimensions column. So everything else that is in this table is comes from the library. In this case, I added custom dimensions. So I actually have two of these network chests running, one on a Mediacom cable network and one on Verizon Fios. So I actually can compare these packets or do queries and do metrics against each other. Now, in this case, uh, and I don't wanna go query down into the JSON right now. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm just saying, you know, the only thing I'm really interested in is ping time. <laughs> so I can do, where name equals equals st ping. And this is gonna filter down so only the ping show up. So this is a way you can generate custom metrics, as many as you want, different types. And if you wanna go run reports against this, there are a bunch of good um, examples they have of uh, queries. So I'm gonna actually close this one. And um, when you come in here the first time, you go to logs, like I said, you will get a sample. You can actually scroll around in these samples and pick one. Right. And that's, that's really it, right? We can go in, we can go to application insights, we can go to our resource, we can run queries against it. If we use the open census library, we get 
and we enable the metrics exporter, we can get these dimensions and our metrics data, and we can add and our metrics data, which we can name, and we can add um, custom dimensions to this and run queries against it. And if you're a low volume user, it's all for free. So it's super easy to play with.